let's do some more Animal Crossing if you're watching this later on YouTube. Thanks for clicking and hope you've been enjoying so far. I haven't played this for a couple days, so there's going to be a queue of things. I did take the time to water plants. So at least there's that. Uh, another green mum popped up, so that's good. <laughs> One less plant to worry about. I gotta get more of them. Uh, other than that, I didn't really do much else with it. I did buy art, so we'll see. Okay, Sahara's visiting. Very well. I'll go change my outfit. Still no luck with these, man. I saw that the rock moved as well, so... Ah. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to budget my time correctly today. The games. The TV. Could be useful. I do have the double one, so a single one would be cool. I did also get the fossils, so I have a pile of fossils in my inventory. skating outfit. I love how it says formal shorts and they're like a fluoro, fluoro green. Trying to pick clothing I don't I know I don't have. Sure. I'll get rid of the glasses. Hey Star, how's it going? Long time no see. stuff away. Thanks for the help with the final boss. Oh, that's alright. The camera looked a bit awkward, like... Didn't really focus on 
what it was trying to get you to do. And I just noticed it in the corner of my eye, because I was doing stuff on the laptop and I saw, oh, wait, why is that glowing sometimes? It looks like a neat game, just there is a bit of jank to it. I got a copy gifted, but I still haven't checked it out yet. I should probably do it at some point. I feel bad. I get given games and then it takes me an eternity to play them. Wait, when did I get that? It's a bunch of stuff I don't even know when I got some of the stuff. I think I might just take the socks off. It happens, we have a backlog of untouched games we have, we'll get to eventually. I have a Steam library and I have a literal box of games <laughs> right next to me that I keep as a reminder sometimes that's just, well. But I caved and I've learned that there's another Yakuza game that came out in October, so I got that. For that one, it's... It's takes place after six and you're supposed to play it before you play the new one so well supposed to but that's just one one more game I like to think that eventually I will play everything that I've bought, but it's just more and more keeps coming out. Like a dragon, the man who erased his name. Yeah, that one. It takes place after the events of the next game that I'm going to play, and it connects it to the game that you started playing. And then also has like some, in some story that affects uh, 8, so... But also the gameplay looks cool in it. Like it looks like they've dialed up the fighting <laughs> quite a bit in it. It's not turn-based combat. It's still the classic, like, just beat the crap out of everything. But I, I imported a Japanese copy because... They don't sell physical copies, other than in Japan. And the physical copy is cheaper. Don't think you're a fan of turn-based combat for that game. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would go try um, Zero or Kiwami. Like those two are the, probably the best games to get started with. It's not region locked. No, the PS5 is not region locked. You can freely import games. There's a big market for it in Australia because often um, the releases for Southeast Asia work perfectly fine on Australian consoles. So, it's a bit of a benefit. One of the benefits. It's kind of cool because you put the disc in and then it just defaults to English, even though the cover art and all that is in Japan. So. Or well, Japanese. Like, I got the Mega Man collection, which never came out physically. Um, but yeah, I put that in my Switch and it's it just, it's English, it's normal. So, it's pretty neat. Okay, Pekka, you know, standing in front of me attack. <laughs> the good thing we can't hurt villagers, because that tree totally just fell on her. Okay, you might want to step back. I know you're curious, but like... Okay. There we go, you can, you can now look.
Gotta take the dog out, no worries. Have fun. Yeah, leave that hole for the one that I'm gonna find. Oh yeah, the flies. I mean, I still don't see any. I put all this trash here to attract the flies, but nothing's appeared yet. Well, it's definitely been a couple days. It's been more than a couple days. more. No. <laughs> Stop hitting the tree. Oh, it's a lost item. I'll try and figure out who it is. Well, the good news is there's no fishing today. I've done it all for now. Oh, okay. I already know that. Yours, Scoot. This. Oh, Pekka dropped it. Okay. Oh. but I'm going to get a reward for it. A Zen uniform? I put stuff away. This last fossil. Nice, another purple. Okay. Good. This is progressing nicely. Still haven't gotten these ones yet, but I'm trying. I mean, the good news is, once I have enough purple, I can kind of clean this up a bit. The end is a uh, is approaching. Just need those blue roses. <laughs> That's it. 
think those ones are the ones that have taken the longest. Oh, you're cooking too good. Peach jam, I think I got this one. Maybe? No, I don't. Okay, cool. Wait, what does that pillow say? Night block. Backbones outfit, okay. What does that say? I guess it's in the f alien language, but it almost looks like goon, which is G-O-O-N. That's like, uh... That's slang for a bag of wine here in Australia. It's like cheap wine. Okay, where is this last fossil? I mean, okay, like, I think I <laughs> have, when I look at this, I'm like, hmm, I probably have enough blue. At one point in the game, I was going to be very happy to get them. But now, maybe I should clean that up. I, I have all the blue pansy I'll ever need. Is it? I've probably walked past it a bunch of times. Oh, right, you're here. I'll get to that later. The bag at the bottom was what I picked out. It's fine. Sorry, Scoot. count. Yeah, there's one missing. There's one missing, so... Where haven't I looked?
Seen it yet? Where is it? I bet it's it's somewhere really sneaky. Hang on, I hear the balloon. That's not gonna hit up. <laughs> How are the flowers doing? Well, I'm still missing the same ones. Got in some duplicates now. What is wrong with me? Why can't I aim? Still haven't gotten the blue roses or the uh the purple sunflower. Only one more purple hyacinth I've gotten, and then one mum. But the pansies, at least, I'm getting more purple ones. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying. This is not appearing. It's probably going to get to the point where I'm just only going to water the roses. Yeah, slowly getting there. I'm surprised I've gotten green mums, to be honest. Like, that I thought was going to be the last thing. But it's most likely going to be the roses at this point. Dude, where is this fossil? <laughs> I feel like I've checked every- Oh, you know what? I think I know where it might be. I haven't really walked in here, have I? No? Pretty certain the spot that I left at the house is a gyroid. It's not a. You know what? Let me just check. Yeah, it's a gyroid. So then. What? be hidden somewhere. It's going to have to be in a sneaky spot. Let me just count again. That's eight. Yeah, so I have an odd number. Because that comes from the other days. I'm focusing more on getting the fish lately. Which, ah, there it is! <laughs> <laughs> the tree was hiding it, that's why I didn't see it. Uh, door. Oh, that can go in there for a minute. Okay. Alright. I believe I didn't see that. Okay, Blathers, come on. I have 12 fossils. One of them has got to be the one that I'm looking for. 
12 fossils, come on. I'm just never gonna get this. <laughs> I think I've gone through about 50 fossils. Uh, is coffee on the thing? No, okay. That is oh, damn it. Okay. This is happening tonight as well. One. I gotta get 20 and then I can ignore them. Hello? Hey, two. I know the moment I step away, it's gonna happen. I think it's safe. Get rid of all this. I don't need any of this. All right, the peach jam. I almost sold that accidentally. have a legit piece of art to donate as well, so. Before I go to halves, I'm just gonna do that quickly. I think I might look at moving some flowers around today, because... I can probably clean up in front of my yard and start setting up what my house is gonna look like on the outside, because the inside, I think, is pretty much done. just need to be creative of where I put stuff, so I'll figure it out. I got a bunch of stuff ordered from the days that I didn't play. Well, didn't stream, I should say. I'll go distribute the cash registers to all the things that I've done that sell stuff. Let's see, this has a register that has a register. Scoots has a register.
Okay, um... Oh, damn it. Should be facing the other way. Wait, can I even get in there? I mean... Realistically, this should have a register as well. If it's selling tickets. Oh wait, are you, oh, they're sitting in the chair. <laughs> wait, are they running the booth? That's funny. I've never seen them sit down in this chair like they're running the booth. Um, this should have a register as well. There we go. Same with this, I'll just get rid of this one. This one's the boring one. This one's straightforward. That one has one already. Uh, this one needs one. Am I out of them? No, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, do I need two more, technically? Yeah, okay, I need two more. So... I think I have that one already. What is that? Four now? Five? No! Oh, God, no! Damn it, I missed it. Timing. I'm gonna wait a sec. Go on. I know you want to do it. Do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. What are we looking for? Dixie? Yeah, we got it. Alright. Okay. Uh, it's called Modern Cash Register. So, one, two. I'll we'll get some more simple panels. Alright, cool. Because I'll probably need them for what I'm doing outside. The house. Oh, it's a fake. Damn. Thought it was real, but maybe 
just... That one's hard to tell because it's the angle of the arm. The dude that's tiny in the background. What about this? It's fake, isn't it? Yeah. It's okay. I buy the stuff so then the, he refreshes his stock. Oh well. Alright, now I can go to halves. I don't think I got anything to customize, I think. I'm all good for now. I just wanna... Get the fortune, check the art, and... I think that's it. Oh, it's this one. I think I've donated this one. It's fake. I can tell already. The real one has like a piece of wheat sticking out of the chest. I think I already donated the real one anyway, so it's fine. Okay, uh, I guess while I'm here I may as well do this. Just throw all this into storage. Like, I got the simple panels, but until I need them, I'll keep them in storage. Wait. Career jacket? What's a career jacket? I don't know, some of the names for this, these pieces of clothing. Like, I'm technically wearing formal shorts, but they're fluoro green. I don't know how that works. Let's go to the Daily Island first. Get that out of the way before I get the other tasks done. Let's go, Catan. Give me an island in winter or spring. Oh, wait, would fall work? I guess any island that's not in summer, I, I need to catch a dab. So then I can make fish and chips. Oh, 
The weird thing is for me, like, summer is the time to get fish and chips, because... Well, at least the ones along the beach and stuff, it's just... I find it weird that you can't cook that in summer, because the fish isn't available. in your wholesome Christian game. What? <laughs> Not that kind of dab. The game is not as wholesome as it leads you to believe. Still haven't gotten my fly yet, confirming. It's been two days. What's going on? Crash has been just sitting there. Minimum three and a half days and must land on a full moon. It's been, this is day number three and we're at 6 p.m. So it's been three and a half days and there is a meteor shower tonight. So it's like, there is a lunar event going on. Where's my fly? Because I didn't stream for 40... I didn't stream yesterday. I didn't stream the day before. So that's 48 hours. And then... Didn't know meteor showers were full moons. No, there's a full moon on top of the meteor shower. I'm just saying there's a celestial event on top of that. So it's like... Extra special. I didn't play? No, I did play. I booted up my game just to water my plants. I didn't stream, but I did play. Then why don't I have a fly? That's what I'm trying to ask you. <laughs> why don't I have a fly? The stars have aligned. <laughs> where's where's my fly? Perhaps I need to order some get good. Well, I ordered some truth, but clearly I was sold like a fake version of it. Definitely a knockoff now that I inspect it a little closer. Say my name in the orders list. Oh. With Animal Crossing, can you ever run out of things to do? Like, can you just run out of islands and people to make houses and stuff for? Um. It's one of these games that you can play for as long as you want to play, like... You can- if I wanted to, I could kick a villager- well... Try to kick a villager off. There's multiple ways to do it, but... 
<laughs> you can get a new villager to move in, and then you can just do new stuff with their house and whatever. I mean, the end goal with it I've done, it's, you know, getting the dog to play a concert at the island and paying off all my debts. I've done that. But I can consider this done when I feel like it. Just keep doing things every day to try and get more items to decorate. It's, I've been ended. This is one of the hardest things sometimes I have to ex explain. Like, I know people that... Gaming to them is playing something like Call of Duty. Or like FIFA. Or something like that. Either one of those two. Like sports or shooting. And when I ask them about, well, what games they play. Like, alright, cool. Then they ask me, I say Animal Crossing. And they just look perplexed when I explain to them what it is, and they go, yeah, but what do you do? It's like, right, but what's the goal? How do you finish the game? I'm like, well, you don't. I mean... Oh, then what's the point of it? Well, I don't know, like, why do, why do you play COD? I've also heard that there's going to be a Kickstarter for this game that's like Animal Crossing. I saw it pop up on like the Nookazon server thing that they use for trading. Some people prefer games with an end goal. Don't mind either way as long as you have something to work on. Yeah, I like both. This is, there are tangible goals, and then there are goals that you set yourself. Like, some people will keep decorating their island until they realize the theme they want. You know, they want to do a particular theme. Some people will grind the Nook Mile system, like this shit. And they'll purchase tickets to try and go to a random island and find the villages that they want, and... There's over 400 villagers, so it can take a while to find the one that you'll, you want to find, you know? Like, if you really like one for a particular reason. Oh, the, the hunt for, like, the villagers that you want, if I was to have picked, like, a specific set of villagers that I wanted, it, it would, I'd be here forever. There are people that just keep doing designs in Happy Home as well, the DLC, where you just design houses with a theme. There's, there's plenty to do. So there's like a, I saw this in a server, there's like a Kickstarter launching at the end of this month for a game that looks very highly Animal Crossing inspired for PC. So it's called Galactic Getaway. I'm gonna pay attention to it and see what the Kickstarter looks like. I haven't tried, um, what do you call it, Dinkum, but Dinkum is more... I guess it's it's cozy, but it's it's not the same as this. It has elements that are similar, but this one seems to be at least, you know, what I'm going off by the one image they've shared. It seems like it's more akin to Animal Crossing. But we'll see.
Wait, did I not get the recipe? I didn't get the recipe. Crap. Oh well. I thought I did. Anyway. Yeah, I mean... You just play the games that you have fun with. The Steam game shows kind of Animal Crossing plus minigames. Okay. I mean, this did have minigames in earlier versions, just they don't really exist in this one. But it's a Kickstarter, so who knows. some other game that I want to check out that's they have a demo out for it already but it the game seems very I wouldn't say similar but like it looks like it's heavily inspired by Donkey Kong Country and it looks pretty good I just have to make time to play the demo Oh, a saxophone. Wow, that's a heck of a gift. Does it do like... Hang on. I know nothing of music, so what is this? Okay, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> you know what I was expecting? I was expecting like, you know the dude that, um... Damn, I don't know where it came from, but the saxophone dude from the song. Anyway, uh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I got distracted though. Um, he just goes hard on the saxophone, it was, and it was a meme for a while. I, I don't know, I was expecting a sound like that. I don't want to think how old that is, because that'll just really make me feel old. I was watching a stream where they were playing um, fan-made South Park games. And some of them were 22 years old. It was just crazy to see. Just new Ground Zero stuff. It's like, stop. <laughs> stop. New Grounds was not that old. Come on. The epic sax guy, yeah, but I think the song is called Runaway. It's it's like a real song. They just took the, the saxophone dude's part. I'm pretty sure the song is called Runaway. Newgrounds is ancient. Ah, I guess. If I was to say, like, Sunstroke Project, it's called Runaway. Hey, I remembered. Excellent. <laughs> Useless piece of information. Okay, this stopped. No, no, damn it. Oh, no, no. Ah, oh, I was standing in front of the thing. I don't know the name of the group, but I do remember the name of the song. Okay, if I was to say, think of the console. Think of a console that's 20 years old, what comes to mind first? That's where you can see where your, where your disconnect is. If you even have one, maybe you don't. The GameCube? You got a good sense of time. That is roughly it. PS2? How old is the PS2? I guess it would fall into that era.
the PS2 is almost 24th. See? <laughs> See? For me, I was thinking the PS, like, just the end of the PS1's life, but it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. The one that got me, because I, I play the Zelda games, was think of a Zelda game that you think is 20 years old, and I was thinking, um, like, Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. No. Wind Waker. And even then. Even then. Yeah. It was just wild to see the games of that era as well, just all of them having word art <laughs> in their titles. The graphics on them were pretty funny, that made me laugh. Just... GeoCities, um... Just, it just screamed GeoCities and Angel Fire, you know? Just that stuff. You can't believe the PS4 came out 10 years ago. Can't believe that is that old. Yeah. But with that one, it's a bit more understandable because we have a three-year period where, you know, I guess... What happened to time? <laughs> In that three-year period. Uh, it's just like... At least that one's a little un easier to understand it's the same with the switch like the switch is is on is is in its seventh year now and even with, with streaming uh, this is now my seventh year of streaming i'm like what no stop stop <laughs> was it really that long ago i mean not Consistent, yeah, but still. What trips you up is you're playing GTA 5 and Franklin's play it says 1988 on it, and you think Franklin does not look 35 in this game, and then you realize he was like 23 when it came out. <laughs> That's the kicker of like GTA 5, is just. I think about where I was in life when I played that, and it's just only now GTA 6. Well, it's not even coming out, it's still two years away at best, right? Two years away at best. But, I, I mean, Mario Odyssey was in 2017. That game is seven years old. You're in junior high when you play GTA V. I think I was finishing university when... What year did it come out in? I don't remember, but... It would have been just after university, because I did play it with my university friends. Around 2014. Yeah, so about that. Sounds about right. 2013. Okay. And then, yeah, I would have been just out of university then. Or maybe a few years out. I don't know. It's all starting to get blurry about it. You got the wacky adventures of Ronald McDonald VHS tapes on Facebook. Someone was giving it away for free. Oh boy, is is this one of the ones where he sings in it? Not as cool as the Burger King games. Okay, but have you played McDonald Land Adventures, like the Australian CD ROM? Are you missing out? Oh, you're missing out, yeah, definitely.
if you like point and click games, it's it's one of those. And if you want to learn how to pronounce things with an Australian a accent, you know, it's the perfect game to refine it. You go to their calendar and I'll say April, May, June, July, August. <laughs> oh man, such a grating voice for me. February. Hey gang, come play in my treehouse. He doesn't have that voice, but he says that line. Why am I fishing? I don't know why I'm fishing. Stop fishing. I need to keep watering the plants before I can move on to what I was planning to do. Did we have the McDonald's with the play areas, like the giant grim cage? You get locked inside and rock back and forth. A grim cage? No. I mean, we had playgrounds, but grim cage? Let me, let me get a mental, well, a real picture, because I can't form a mental picture. Do you know what's scary on the topic of Grimace is like, have you seen the design for Grimace before the 1980s? Just, dude, it is, it is so scary. Hang on. Imagine his entire belly is a big... Oh, no, I got a picture of it. I got a picture. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, hang on. Dude. Okay, I, I got, I got some, some gold stuff here. Okay, g g give me a give me a sec. Give me a sec. I'll get these images. Um, but let me just get grimace. I think it's from the seventies. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 This is the one. So. I mean, I, I can I can understand why he's designed like this, but it is it is so creepy, and the videos he's in it just it just looks deranged. Okay, sorry, chat. This is like a bit of a <laughs> a bit of an aside, but like we're having the conversation. Let's so this is the grim cage. Which, I'm sorry. <laughs> that is scary. Like, what? I'd be afraid to go in that thing. And then there's also this. And this. That one's not too bad. But that the swing set... <laughs> Dude. The Grim Cage is, is frightening. I guess it kind of it kind of makes sense, but anyway, like what I was saying, right? Grimace from the seventies. This was his design. He had multiple arms. Just, dude, <laughs> that's nightmare fuel. I get why. It apparently, was was a villain as well. Would just steal milkshakes, I guess. Anyway. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is this is the last one I'm gonna show, but I have to show it. There's a commercial from McDonald's Australia in the 1990s, and I have to show you this. So, um, hang on. Do 
Yep. Okay, give me a sec. I have to show this because it, 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 every time this commercial came on, it made me laugh. It was just hysterical for a particular reason, and I'll point it out. I showed this when I played the McDonald's land game, but okay. Check this out. Okay. So, you know, perfectly innocent, I want you to watch very carefully this uh, particular kid. This kid coming up right now. Get ready. <laughs> the kid is like, fully fucking gyrating his hips. Like, look at this. <laughs> Like, oh my god, dude. Alright, I, I think I, I, I promise I'm done with the McDonald's shit. <laughs> I don't know. Wonder where he is in life today. I don't know. They did catch up with the girl that became the internet meme of like, Por que no los dos? And she... <laughs> she doesn't like it. But it constantly gets brought up. Just gets tired of hearing about it. I reckon a lot of these kids just are sick of it. Although that commercial didn't go viral, so... It's probably that dude's living a normal life. At least people probably don't know it's her. Apparently in school they knew it was her. Because her, her family, like, let it out, I guess, that she was the girl in the commercial. They would just talk about it to the other parents, and then I guess it, it came out. So she constantly got it in school. They did an interview with her later, where she talked about it, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah, play Adventures Through McDonald Land. Do it. <laughs> you won't regret it. Just be sure to click the buttons extra quick. And repeatedly, because then they can make funny sounds that may stray away from the light. And make something innocent seem... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, she... She's in an ad for the uh, furniture company Koala, which, by the way, is good stuff. I have their stuff. I think that's it. I think I've watered everything I want to water. She's really pretty. I guess I never really saw the photo, I just remember reading the article. Wait, 20? How can she be 20? How old is that commercial? I feel like it's older than that. If she was a kid in it. It can't- the commercial can't be like 15 years old. Or maybe I'm thinking that commercial's older than what it really is. Okay, uh, I just gotta look for the furniture now. The article's from 2020. Okay, yeah. Th that, that lines up a bit better. That's cool. I was just thinking, wait, is... <sighs> sense of time skew.
Oh, man. There's so many good Australian commercials that I just like showing to people. That's one of them. My other go-to is like the one they had for rock... What was it? Was it Rock Band or Guitar Hero on the DS? But that's a good one. <laughs> Particularly because it could only... It's the type of commercial that can only air in Australia, honestly. Maybe New Zealand as well. Ah, I forget which game. It was, it was a DS game. It was one of the rhythm games, like... Of the Guitar Hero nature. I just can't remember if it was specifically that. I should just look for it, I mean. At this point, I've derailed this stream enough. Alright, screw it. Hold on. Okay, I found it. It's not Guitar Hero. But in the same realm as it. Okay. <laughs> this is the ad I'm talking about. Ah, since we're talking about ads, why not? Okay, this is for jam sessions. I won't say anything about it. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Hudson. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the fuck is this? <laughs> Fucking sponge cake! Fuck! <laughs> yeah. I love that commercial. <laughs> what kind of commercial is that? It's, it's you know, a typical commercial for a video game that comes out on a portable console. Fold the Nintendo DS. Perfectly normal. <laughs> Did that actually air? Yes. To be fair, I think they censored it when it went to the air, but that is, you know, the uncensored version of it, which did circulate. Yeah, it's a good one. I could do like a whole half-hour segment of showing the dumb commercials I remember from the 90s and early 2000s. A lot of them surprisingly are on YouTube. And then there were commercials that were specific to Melbourne, which there's, there's some really unhinged ones. There was a, a place, they don't exist anymore, but they sold white goods and um, appliances, typically. I think they sold furniture as well, a little bit of it. But the whole thing was like that their owner 
had gone crazy. And so that's why stuff was on sale, because their owner had gone crazy. And the whole gimmick was just every single commercial had continuity. And it was just them getting more and more unhinged with the owner. It was just absolute insanity. And uh, the the narrator is just screaming at you in the most bogan Australian accent there is. I worry because I know one of one of them. I'm not sure I can show. Because um. Let's just say they're they're a tire. I'm I'm not sure if um if it's suitable for Twitch. I don't know the guidelines, so I'm not gonna risk it. But it yeah. I promise. I promise you, we're a normal country. Okay. I think I've done everything I want to do now. Let me sell stuff and I'll start thinking about moving flowers and whatnot. Selling this. Yeah, that'll do. You know, there was this commercial that used to air on TV, yeah. That I... S I don't know when they stopped airing it, but it became famous, and then... It used to always be included in compilations of just, like, banned ads and ads that are, like, unhinged and strange, and I never understood why until later. But if you've ever seen one of these TV shows, they have this commercial from Australia that eventually pops up that's... For, uh, for underwear, for Bond's underwear. And it's just... I don't know. <laughs> it never clicked why people thought that it was, like, unhinged. Like, this seems normal. But it's the one where, like, the... It, it involved a model at the time, and she was in a, a very hot room. So she's just sitting there... On a bed, she has just underwear and a t-shirt on, but it's, you know, perfectly fine for TV. And she has a pet anteater. And so there are just ants crawling everywhere in the room. And then she tells, you know, they start crawling on her body. And then she says to the anteater, hey, just sick them. And I don't know. <laughs> I just never really thought about that ad as anything just like, oh, okay, it's just... The ant eater is eating the ants. That was one of those times where, like, I guess the internet ruined me a little. Just other people interpreted that commercial differently. Let's say that. Did I water these? I did not. Okay.
I should probably do this first. I might get rid of this rock because it's just taking up space and... It's just, I want these blue flowers, but they just haven't appeared yet. I think I'm definitely going to clean up my yard. Keep eating the coconuts, I got plenty. Let's get rid of the flowers first. And by get rid of, I mean move. I'm not going to sell them. Let's just get them out of the way so then I can think about what to do out the front here. What would a venue have in front of it? Like, I, I could do a car park. You can get car cars, but I don't know. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Maybe a dumpster outside. Just making it look like it's a real place. <laughs> I, could, I could do a line, like... I have a space for one more pattern. Maybe I can get, like, a red carpet pattern. And then have a line that goes to the door. And just put two more gnomes in front of it. Or, another one that's just dumb. I think it would be a waste of a pattern slot, but it would make me- it would make me laugh. It would just be a sign that I draw that just says Dave with an arrow pointing. And then I'll just put that next to the gnome and put it next to the door. This is what you're gonna do when you get to the door. You tell them Dave sent you, okay? You tell them you're on Dave's list. You get one dollar off entry. You take that dollar. You buy yourself a drink. You have yourself a good night, okay? You bring five girls. They each get a dollar off. <laughs> uh... My shovel broke. Oh, that's a cool backpack. Yeah, I'd be dedicating a pattern slot just for that joke, and I don't know. I feel like I could do something nice looking with it instead. I still haven't seen my fly yet, by the way. I'm waiting. Where's my fly? Uh, 
I've ever played Dr Disney Dreamlight Valley. I have not. But I've had people ask me if I've played that quite a, quite a bunch of times. So there's probably a bit of overlap with people that like this game and that game. I guess, for me, it's just, I enjoyed Disney stuff growing up, but I guess as an adult, I haven't really followed it, or, it doesn't make me that excited. You know? Like, I have my favorite Disney movies, like, Emperor's New Groove, love, love that movie. One of my favorite movies ever. But if I see, you know, Mickey Mouse and Goofy and all that, it's like, yeah, eh. I got more excited by, like, Goku and Luffy and Jojo. Like, I'll, I'll go mental if there's, like, a Jojo reference in a game. That being said, I did play a Mickey Mouse game from the Sega Genesis slash Master System era. That was fun. Why does the turtle look so real? What, this turtle? Oh shit, it's real! <laughs> it's real. It's my pet turtle. Compared to a lot of things in the game, because it's an, it's an animal. Technically a turtle that I caught in the river. The fish are the same. But this one, when you place it, it just stays as a turtle, doesn't go in a tank. I need to get the doghouse. <laughs> I've been trying to get the doghouse item so I can put... I've got its, its feeding bowl, I just need the doghouse and it'll be perfect. Yeah, I mean, if the Disney game is fun, I don't care if it's Disney or not, as long as it's fun. Making the turtle work for his food, yeah, it's security for, for the time being. I'm just going to temporarily put the stuff here. The game is cool, but you really need to be a fan of Disney to appreciate it. Well, what, do they have, like, some deep lore or something that I won't appreciate? I mean, I, I like their stuff. I have nostalgia for certain things from them. Like, I used to watch Darkwing Duck and Gargoyles and a lot of, like, Disney programs as a kid. The rescue rangers, um, gummy bears. Though I guess it's not it's not those ones, but you go into Ratatouille, you're cooking food with the rat. I know Ratatouille. I've seen I've I've seen a lot of the movies. Not all of them, but a lot. There was like a period where I'd be watching them for my entertainment. And now there's a period where I watch them because my younger cousins have, or well, my niece watches them, right? It's like the other game that keeps coming up every now and then is Kingdom Hearts, because I haven't played that, but it's been requested a couple of times. 
they did release a collection, the all-in-one package, so that was on sale at the end of last year, so I did get that, so if, it's an option if I want to. Kingdom Heart games are good. Yeah, I, I've heard. Um, I guess I never I never got into them because at the time didn't have a PS2 um, when they first got released. Didn't really get any time with it. And because I, this is one of these games where I imagine the story matters to keep track on it, of it from game to game. That, um, yeah, I'd have to start with the first games and, you know, go through it to appreciate it properly. But I got, I got the collection, it's just... I'll play it if enough people are down for it. I played Final Fantasy um, 16 last year, and I liked the game, but not a whole lot of people were into it. Like, very few. Sometimes it, it doesn't matter, like, I'll play a game and I don't care how many people watch it, but... For that one, because, like, I wanted to just check it out. There were definitely times where it was, like, just dead. <laughs> it was just me playing it. But, yeah, I don't know. It's a good game, though. I did enjoy FF16. I need to think about what to do with these crops. I suppose I should try and put them out of the way for now, and then I guess I'll put them in some villages' garden. Okay. There's quite a few series that I've always wanted to check out, but it's just, man, the time. The Kingdom Hearts, I mean, I wanted to check out Devil May Cry, um, the Metal Gear series, I've been meaning to play the Souls series properly, like I've only played a couple of Souls games, but I feel like I should play the original trilogy, at the very least. I'm forgetting one other series. It'll come to me. You're too much of a wuss for those. Ah, oh, I mean, they're not as they're not as bad as people put them on this pedestal of like being the the pinnacle of difficulty. Like every game has to be compared to. Dark Souls when it comes to difficulty, but don't get me wrong, they're, they're tricky games, they can be hard, for sure, but they're not nearly as hard as people make them out to be. Like, I've played way harder games than those. Uh, I don't know, the way I describe them is like, those old games that were like, uh, motion video, where something would happen on the screen and then you'd have to press the button to respond to it correctly or you would just die and you'd have to start you know the whole sequence again like dragon's lair or like stuff like that it's a mod it's just a modern day version of that is you come across an enemy the enemy's going to do something if you act incorrectly you die but the moment you know what the enemy does and in what order then you just have to press the buttons in the right time and that's really all the game becomes, is just recognizing attack patterns and just responding correctly to them. Easier said than done, but... People go too YOLO on them, and that's why they, they just get deemed as like this thing that's really hard. Whoops.
But I mean, when I was watching you play that game earlier, like, you have the mentality of a Souls player already. Like, or just thinking about rolling to reduce your hitbox, I'm sorry, that's... You're a Souls player already. No one, no one says those words, really. Unless they have, like, the preparation of a Souls player. <laughs> that... That already, you're, you're already halfway there. The one I've been waiting for, because it hasn't happened, it probably won't happen, but I've heard a lot of good things about Bloodborne. And I guess it can't happen now because I don't, I don't have PS Plus anymore, but I, I was so tempted to play it when I got my PS5, but I was just waiting for them to do a patch that enhances it for the PS5, because they did with the entire collection that it was part of. They had like this PlayStation 4 collection that they gave out for PS5 owners. And ev almost all of the games were enhanced for the PS5, so they had 60 FPS and just ran at a better resolution. But Bloodborne didn't, so I was waiting for an update. And the update just never happened. But I've been really wanting to try that game out, because... I've just heard a lot of good things about it. It's a Souls game, but... I've heard it's really good. And I enjoyed just Elden Ring a lot, and Demon Souls, so... Okay, look at look at this, a clean yard. All right, I need to go plant these somewhere. The closest thing I'll play to a Souls game soon will be uh, Hollow Knight, because I want to play that in preparation for uh, Silk Song. What? You did an exclam- What? <laughs> you did the exclamation mark like you wanted to talk to me. Liar! That character is weird. What, Pietro is? Just a clown. It's a distinct character. And it made sense to get Pietro on, on this village because then... I can decorate his house like this, and it makes, it makes sense. There are some pretty weird designs, granted. There's a lot of villages that look like food. Oh yeah, right, I had to talk to you. Ugh, we'll do that later. Um, where am I gonna put these for now? But, I, I can understand if you don't like how Pietro looks visually. Everyone has their favorite villages. That one kind of creeps you out, probably kick him off the island. For me, it's not that I... I don't love him, like, as the best villager, right? I don't say, oh, my favorite. But thematically, I think he's cool. Like, very unique design, and... For what I was doing, I thought, yeah, that'll be cool. We got a fun house sort of thing. It certainly beats the gorilla I had at the heart. Do certain art villages unlock unique items for their core? Um, so what you can do, when you become good enough friends with a villager, uh, sometimes they'll ask you to visit their house. And when you do, they'll go, oh, if you want, you can buy one of my items. And so every villager has a set of items in their house, and if you don't have the item, you can acquire it that way. But you can, of course, find that item through the shop, or just uh, those balloons in the sky that you hit with the slingshot. So there's multiple ways, but... They all each have their own unique song that they have and unique set of furniture, so. I think they even, because you get reactions, like these things. 
that you can use as emotes. Um, so, depending on the villager's personality, they'll they'll teach you different ones. But I haven't really bothered with that too much. Like, that were open sign I bought from from the villager that lives here, so I could just place it outside. It's like, why, why do you have that, why do you have that sign indoors? That makes no sense. No one's gonna see it in there. Just put it outside. So I put it outside. It makes more sense outside. So I bought the sign. She didn't seem very happy about it, like, was sad to see it go, but I just put it outside her house. Got it. Good. Oh, are we good? I'm afraid to move. Okay, I think we're fine. Uh, where am I gonna put the thing? Got it. Where are my flies? <laughs> I have this garbage here. The flies still haven't appeared. You know what? For those things that are one-off purchases and you can't purchase more. Uh, you can... Every time you... Anytime you acquire an item... It becomes part of this catalog, so you can order it through here. It just takes a day to deliver. So as long as you've acquired the item once, you can get it that way. But from the villager, you can only purchase one. But it just means it's unlocked in the catalog, so... I mean, I don't know. I'm just gonna place these here. Sugar cane should grow next to a body of water, right? These can be just wild potatoes. I don't know. I'll move them eventually. This is just... I, I don't know what else to do with them. Although I guess I shouldn't put them under the tree, huh? Because they're going to get in the way. Whoops. Yeah, that'll do. I just need them away from my house so then they don't get in the way. Alright, good enough. A dishwasher. Wait, a kitchen dishwasher. What's the difference? Oh, like, okay, I see. Like an actual, I know what it means. <laughs> I was like, wait, don't, wouldn't you put a dishwasher in the kitchen? I know what it means. It means like a, a place of business kitchen, not like in a domestic kitchen. I get it. Leopard pumps, huh? Oh, I was expecting yellow. Okay, that's all moved. But I had another balloon. It's okay. Right, so... Now I need to think, what kind of fencing do I want? I 
Oh. I want to talk, but I mean, I want to talk while surrounded by all of my own furniture. Okay. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? Make yourself home and relax. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. <laughs> this was just a ploy to get me into her garage sale. I don't need it, I'm fine. So I, I could buy any of these if I wanted to, but I have all this stuff, so... Huh. Okay, so this desk, is it just me or is it the wrong way around? Like, is this just not functional? It's facing a wall. There's a book in there. Am I wrong? <laughs> Thank you for the follow as well. What? Oh, no, this is definitely the wrong way. Okay, this is what I was waiting for. Oh, I get another do rag. Okay, well, this is good. Has to be small, others. Really? <laughs> Get wrecked. Like, <sighs> I don't think I don't think I got another chance at it. I think that's it. All right, I'm leaving. I got a consolation prize. Okay, I'm gonna look at the fencing that I have and see what I want to go with. Oh, wait. I didn't water these. Jeez, what is wrong with me? Okay. I'm gonna go buy another. You know, I went and got a massive bag of chicken nuggets because I got sriracha, this like sriracha Tabasco sauce. It's, it's, it's so good. And I had some on some chicken nuggets the other night, and man, <laughs> it was so good. So. As the adult I am, who can make decisions in life, important ones, I went and picked up a massive bag of nuggets to go with my bottle of sriracha Tabasco sauce. So all that's missing is just, like, some massive event to happen, like last year where I made chicken nuggets, was eating the chicken nuggets, there was an earthquake, and I didn't realize there was an earthquake. I'm prepared.
but you don't you don't understand this this sauce is so good. It's not spicy. I'm like it's minor minor spiciness, but it's good good stuff on chicken. Okay, what fencing have I got? That would look well for a venue. Because the other option is I can use the half wall, well, the half panel. Nuggets, yeah. They're good stuff. The way I do mine, I air fry them, but I put like a little a little bit of peanut oil in a bowl and then I kind of like mix them in the peanut oil and then when they're done I add chicken salt to them which if you don't know what that is it's a magical fundament that we have in Australia um I don't know, what would I use as walls for a venue? I mean, these, these are pumpkin ones. Hmm. You know, I'm not sure. Iron fencing, a rope fence. But I feel like the rope fence we could do... Okay, hang on. Like a line. Um... What else have I got? What am I doing? Think of fencing to go with my house. Like, my house is a venue. What fencing best represents the outside of a venue? Like a place that's a bar and they have like two rooms for music. Like what kind of fencing would you expect to see if you go to a place like that? Maybe just that, the vertical board. I don't know. Well, it's an in... Okay, just picture yourself. You're walking into this place, right? What kind of fencing do you see? If you walk in... And then it's a place like this. What awaits you? That's what awaits you inside. It's like... I think it, it either has to be rope just plain rope like just here rope hmm let's see how it looks i'll see let me get i think i think it has to be something basic i was thinking rope brick or just the basic fence or maybe even just get hedges like hedges might not be bad either let me see what i have i have that was, like, very temporary fencing early on. Let me get some of these. Um, apparently I haven't made that fence before, so... Let me just get a bunch of materials out. Dark fencing, but black? Dark fencing? Oh, like the uh, the iron one? Potentially. That could work. Alright, hold on. Let me make a bunch and we'll see. Um, so, where's rope? Oh, wait, I'll go craftable. Probably doesn't help filter it down now that I think about it. Okay, so that one. Wait, 
20 should cover it, hopefully. There's rope as well. At the very least, I think rope will be used for the line. So I think I want to do a line going out the side. Okay, um... Then I wanted to try these out. Okay, um, customize. Oh shit, it doesn't have black. <laughs> I think the other one does, not this one. This one has <laughs> orange and green. Um Let's just leave that for a minute. What's that confirming? You said that uh, that fence came in black and it didn't. What's that? More, more, in, more misinformation? I'm just kidding. Hey, Will, craft the park fence. It comes in black. You should do black park fencing outside your venue. It looks good. I have it on my island. That's on me for not double checking. Oh, okay. This one has black. You said park fencing. I should know better now. Well, I'm sorry that I, I trust. You know? I'm sorry that I trust. I was supposed to put them away, not put them on. <laughs> put them away. Okay, now I can see. Okay, so let's let's go with the the sun first. And then we decide which one looks this looks alright so far. Okay, so that's oh yeah, I should get rid of up the back as well. No personality. I mean, <laughs> isn't that the one you... Like, I know you said park fencing, but this... Okay. Alright, so there's that. Now, let's... The other thing is... Nighttime is very different today. Is 
the divine wall. Not particularly. It doesn't look too bad, I don't think. But what I can do... Which is like, oh, I've done some kind of fencing like that. I can do this as well. I can do... Like, sort of this... This fake, like, tall hedge thing. Of course, well, I guess I do have the simple panels. I did order a bunch of them, so... This looks like I put this fence up for my dog. Well, what do you mean? I did put it up for my dog. Dog's here. Hedge looks like in Vogue, very chic. <laughs> That's Tall Hedge, he's so in right now. Oh, wait, no, I was, on, I was already building. Call my venue the Tall Hedge. <laughs> nah, it's gotta. It's gotta be like something that is a play on words. Like, I don't know. The Lazy Bush or something like that. So you can interpret bush in, in a couple different ways. I guess I'd move the mailbox now. The lazy bush and the tall hedge. Well, this is what we're doing. I need to get the uh, the hedges out. I mean, it does it does match the interior, the in well, at least the entry room. Okay, so I need... This. And I need the simple panels that I got. I'll get eight out, I'm pretty sure it's something like that. Um, one sec. What else have I got? Don't have to settle on the name now, like, this is- naming stuff is- is hard. 
shouldn't force it. Eventually, it'll a brilliant name will pop up. We could, we could call it something like Over the Hedge. Although I've, I think that's already the name of a movie. Oh, I need more customization kits. I've run out. Great movie. I remember very little of it. But I did remember it was a movie. It was one of those movies our younger brothers were into. But they didn't watch it often enough to ruin it for me. Like, to this day, I still can't watch Shrek. Because ev every day, <laughs> at least three times, they would watch that movie. And just, ugh, Smash Mouth, and just, there were certain lines that just... I know, I know off by heart. Don't get me wrong, Shrek is an amazing movie, and when I saw it the first time, great movie. But when your younger two brothers play that damn thing, like, three times a day, every day, practically, or, like, you want to watch something, and they come up to you with the, 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 the VHS for that movie. <laughs> Demanding that you put on Shrek. Your, uh, your nostalgia for Shrek when you're older is not very good. And then they got, um, the Shrek on DVD, and it had these bonus features where they would sing certain songs as well. So, it was that as well. Okay, uh, oh yeah, right, I need to... Forgot an important step in this. You sleep to Shrek and wake up with the title music playing. I don't think I could sleep to Shrek. to do this properly. I don't think I'm gonna make it in time. Oh, I got that one. Wait for it. No? Okay. I'm not sure how many that is now. Count nine. I need one more. I have to go back and... Oh, I guess I can go to the shed and get it. Give it a minute. Wow, I have wished upon 200 stars. That's the last milestone on that one. Okay. 
Yeah, the other thing I remember about Shrek is just the games that came out for it were just not representative of the movie in the slightest. <laughs> they were just... There was so many Shrek games and none of them really were even close to what the movie were about. But I guess the same can be said about a lot of movie games. They were good, yeah. One of the ones I used to like on PlayStation was the Hercules game. to go get a panel out and finish this up. Uh, put away the stone, iron, everything else. Oh, vertical, sorry, rope, keep the rope fencing. Simple panel, simple panel, simple panel. That's A, alright. Oh, I cancelled, damn it. My bad. Ugh. One more panel. Oh, it's here. Yep. I had the exact amount. All right, now I need to go to halves and get all these customized. No, it's fine. <laughs> I just thought of something. It's okay. It's fine. If I'm doing this hedge, this fake hedge, then it's fine. I was just thinking if I needed to lay down pathing first. I don't, because it's faking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take take the helmet off. It's fine. I have to make ev everything a process. <laughs> If it was me designing this, the first message would be like, Hey, welcome to the airport. Where would you like to fly? Harv's Island? Work? Or visit an island? <laughs> One menu. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I really do like these games, but just because of my profession, it just kills me every time. I just access the flight menu or even worse, Sahara. It's just, man. Okay, uh, so we want this one. I think that's already the correct color. I just need to change this to be... Where is it? This one. Gray? Yeah, it's the one. Okay. This, this might take a couple minutes. Wrong menu. Wrong menu.
I really hope that, um, oh yeah, I, Twitch is, uh, upgrading their vid video stuff. So, like, they're finally gonna use something comparable to what YouTube has. And there's a beta for it, so I've signed up for it because I have a Series 40 graphics card, so that allows you to do a 4K stream. They said first come, first serve, so I got in, like, I signed up within the first few hours of them announcing it, so hopefully I can get in on that. But I don't know, they'll probably prioritize partners as much as they say first come, first serve. There'll probably still be a little bit of preference, I imagine. But it'd be, it'd be nice to be able to use the full quality. I'm just glad they're finally doing it, like it's... They're pretty behind in that regard. The quality on YouTube for streams and videos is just so much better. People have been asking them for this specifically for like the last two years. So. I'm glad they stopped uh, trying to roll out more ads and coming up with more policies and actually implemented something that streamers want. Oh man. I wonder if the big layoff they did is going to delay stuff. I don't know. It depends where they laid people off. I'm not really familiar with that, but... Hopefully they don't get rid of engineers and developers. Usually when they do that stuff, it, it's typically like support and community managers that are up first. <laughs> as weird as that is, it's just the ones that engage with actual customers are the ones that typically go first. Or at least have the largest amount of cuts. I'm not sure what, what they did. But a third of staff, that's a lot. Over a third of staff, that's a lot. They did that last year already? Damn. Yeah, I don't really follow too much of their stuff other than just things that I could potentially use in terms of stream. It does suck, though. Particularly if they're doing well, and it's like, hey, the company's doing well, we're making good profits, by the way. We're firing people. Like, that's always something that goes hand in hand, it's just... <laughs> yeah, it's... it sucks. So I do feel for anyone that got caught up in that. The creative industry can be such a revolving door sometimes when it comes to that sort of thing. Buy people to cost costs to make profits. I think it's buy people to allow them to like give bonuses in all honesty. Alright, cool. I got my panels done. It's so hard to find a job now due to all the gaming industry layoffs. Gotta find a new industry to work in. Yeah. I think... Because the I think what they did, because of the pandemic, they just did a bunch of hires to kind of account for that. There was like a massive influx of people being into that kind of content and now it's it's there's definitely more but it's it's normalized a bit and there's been a reduction but people predicted it because one thing that happened was like both YouTube CEO and Twitch CEO stepped down at roughly similar periods so there are a bunch of people speculating that oh there are tough times to come when it comes to like gaming jobs i think they'd like oh well Gaming and interactive media and entertainment. Like, those, both of those CEOs bowing out. 
right at the end of, like, you know... At the start of when things were starting to go back to normal, like... The prediction was, yeah, it's gonna be tough. But, I mean, the good thing is there's, like, adjacent... Um... Fields that you can work in that use a similar skill set. Just it's not it's not gonna be the same as working in gaming. It's it's nice. If it's something you're like really into. It's usually pretty, pretty much a cycle is like, there's a time where they just oversupply too much in a particular field. They get rid of a bunch of people, probably more, too much more than they need to, and then eventually they need them again. That's just, it happens. It's annoying. looks nice. I think it does work well, actually. Alright, now... This is something different. They have employed for pandemic layoffs already. Happened a year plus ago. Yeah. I mean, the most recent ones... Like, I wasn't aware of the most recent ones. The most recent ones are definitely greed. <laughs> Make no mistake. been three K employees laid off and many studios shutting down. Yeah. I <sighs> the gaming industry man, when it comes to developing games, like So the degree that I did, it was split into three. There was you could do you could do one that was more oriented around graphic design and um you would learn interactive media, which is like multimedia, basically, they called it back then. Or you could do something that was more oriented around web program programming, but you'd get like some minor graphic design field, and then there was the games development part of the degree, and just of all the people that I knew that went into game developing, development, most of them burnt out. I think there's only like a small handful that didn't. And it's kind of telling of that field is just... It's a great field if you can be your own boss and work on a game that's yours, right? But to do that, you have to make ends meet sometimes. Like I had a, a friend that worked a supermarket job and was just doing his game development stuff really late at night. But eventually he did get there and he made his own game and he's really happy with it. But then there are others that had to go work at a studio and they just all got burnt out. And it's just one of those things that I feel like the field takes advantage of people's creativity and just make them work so hard because everyone that works in the field is just really dedicated with what they do. They're super passionate and they don't mind working these extra hours because they truly love what they do. And man, these companies just take advantage of them. And on top of that, it's just sometimes, you know, shitty decisions will be made and it's no fault of the people working on it. And then the people working on it get crucified by like the general public, basically. And so on top of that, they got to deal with abuse and just people being dickheads, basically. And it's just, it's not hard to imagine how someone over time can just get burnt out. like 
I've, I told some of my younger relatives that had interest in going into making games, I told them, look, like, it's great that you, you like the stuff, you know, I, I have an interest in making games as well, to be honest, but like, I've seen what it did to some of my friends and just, man, that's, yeah, it's rough. It doesn't happen to everyone, but... Yeah. Companies are trying to be better about that, at least from what you've seen. A lot of the smaller indie companies have adopted the idea of limited PTO and flexible work schedule to help with work-life balance. Indie studios are, are good. Unlimited PTO, sorry. I get what you mean. Yeah. No, you definitely need it. This sucks. She's she's sitting down somewhere and I can't get her out of the way. Like, I need to put fences here, but she... Get up! Move. <laughs> I'm sorry, but move. <laughs> this happens every time. Uh, I'd start doing something. I start building. And then, for some reason, just the villagers come to see what's going on. And they just, they just get in the way. Like, stop. Okay. Dude. I appreciate that you're curious, but let, let me do my thing. Okay, I'm moving. Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of the same in a lot of creative industries. It's just ultimately there are companies that take advantage of people's drive and creativity. So it's just something that's more prevalent in game development. It's not everyone. There's definitely... There's definitely good places. But, like... You know, I know, I know someone that works at a place... I'm trying to keep this as anonymous as possible, but... I know someone that works at a place right now where this morning uh, their entire staff got an email basically telling them that their internet is being monitored and that too many people are using the internet to access things that are non-work related. And this is in one of these creative industries, so... You know. And, yeah. <laughs> it's just... Alright, oh, I don't have the builder's helmet on. would be why. A place where they'd look things for reference and inspiration. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, um, by the sounds of it, the person that's in charge is a bit of a boomer. Like, both literally and just, you know in the sense of what we refer to boomers as just people that are out of touch. Sucks when the higher-ups are clueless. Yeah. Uh, well, I can make this work. Hold on. I can make this work. I'm just thinking how I can divide things up. See which one I picked. Anyway, it's not all doom and gloom. Like, 
It's pretty much just the bigger companies that have that happening. I mean, look at look at last year, right? Last year was such a crazy year for gaming. We had some of the best games to launch in a long time, and then we also had some of the worst games to launch of all time. That's just both happened. And there was just so many just these you know them when you see him. The apology letter on Twitter. We're sorry that this game did not meet the expectations of fans. Like the the boilerplate apology. I still want to play, like, Gollum. <laughs> I'm just... I'm morbidly curious about Lord of the Rings Gollum. But I'm not going to pay for it, so I'm going to wait until it's, like, just dirt cheap. So then at least... I get a laugh out of it, but... It, it's a terrible thing to say that I'm playing a game just for that reason. I might do, like, outdoor seating, potentially. I'll think about how I want to do this. Oh, yeah. How am I going to incorporate a line? Like, I kind of want to do a line to get in. I'll think about it. <laughs> For now, I'll just keep laying out brickwork. I don't know. I'm... I'm happy with, like, the work that I'm doing. I don't really work on anything interesting, but at least, you know, the place I work at... Okay, I... Here's the thing. It's like... To me... Fundamentally, the thing that I, I work with is, like, it's, it's a control panel, and... It's just... When you compare it to something like a game or... You know, something where I use graphic design skills and creativity. It's like, I say boring, but it's not boring, boring. But this is why, like, I do the streaming thing, because this is my way to be able to just do things and have an outlet, just be able to... I don't know, just... Between the video editing and, like, the stream graphics and all that stuff, it's just, it's an outlet. But to do this full-time, I don't know if I'd, <laughs> I'd be able to. How am I going to do this? I want to make a line to get into the venue, but without interrupting the table. So what I guess I could do... Well, what if there's not a table here? What if I put, like, just... Oh, that could work, actually. Now I got this. 
you're looking up the golem game and it's got horrible reviews. Yeah, because it is it is truly bad. Like that's not the it's not the fault of the people making it. It's just one of these things where it's just at the end of the day, the people in charge get reports on the state of the game. They get told, hey, you know, this is what we're at. This is what we want to fix. And at some point, some executive will say, no, release it. We can fix it later. That's what it comes down to. So with that game, it's... It's just another one of those that's just... They probably knew that what they were about to release was, like, not going to be well received. I don't know if I can do the, the S shape, the snake line. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible. I'm trying to make like, whoops. <laughs> you know how a line kind of wraps around like that? I don't think there's enough room. Like I might just have to go for just a line down the side. Um. Whoa, what? That's okay. It might actually, it might, yeah, it might fit. It might fit. It might fit. Yeah. Okay, and then. Oh, not quite. <laughs> ah, stop! Ah, <laughs> oh, I hate doing that. And I, I, I wish when you place things with the tool that it would make it permanent until you scrape it off with the other tool. Okay, well, this is good enough, and then I can put a gnome here. It acts as, like, the bouncer. Okay, and then... I think I, I, think I know how I can do this. Okay, give me, give me a minute. Now... three more simple panels, but that's okay, they're coming tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, this will this will work. Because I need to cut this like, well, if you enter this venue, what's stopping you from just going straight ahead? Well, this will be. So then this will force you here. Go through the line. And then to the left here, I can put outdoor seating. And I can put, like, some hedges or something, right? So it's, like, walled off. It will make getting into the house a little bit inconvenient, but that's okay. I'm willing to take that hit.
It's, it's not that bad. It's just you go here, you go. Oh, how <laughs> to get into the house? Okay, hang on. Do you have to wait in line to get into the house? Well, it's it's a venue, so it's like a night spot. So you could just walk. Sometimes maybe there's no line. Or maybe I could make it so this part is like free. And just have a guard standing here. I guess this could be the exit. Yeah, okay. No, no, that works. It'll work, it'll work, it'll work. It's not a pain. This is the line to get in, if there's ever a line. Okay. Uh, I need to go do what I was going to do. I'm gonna get stuff out of storage. I mean, look at it, it's busy tonight. Where is the hedge thing? I think I have it on me, actually. Okay, never mind. Um, while I'm here, let's see if there's anything I want to place outside. Huh. Huh. How would that look? As actually placing it. That might look neat. I don't know about the castle. Castle might be overkill. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> the song. Tables, do I? Not really. Hmm. I mean, okay, these are... But I'm using these everywhere, that's the thing. They're correct in the sense of what I should be using, but I don't know. Kind of boring. <laughs> Alright, get back outside. Okay, uh... Have I already been- I've already been playing this for three hours. I thought it, I was gonna try and budget tonight better. gonna work the way I think it will. This is gonna be tough. Okay, hang on. It is... Okay. 
Okay, what I need to do next... Need to put these up here. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go into storage. remember if I can walk over these, that's why I had the extra tile behind it. Everyone's curious! <laughs> This works the way I think it will. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to move them one <laughs> up by one. Okay, and now that's just my guide. So why doesn't this fit there? Hold on. Oh. Ah, oh, invisible wall. What is causing it? I have to move it one forward. That sucks. Okay, one sec. That is... Sad. It's okay. It's not too much of a fix. Just means there's more of a tight squeeze here, but that's all right. first. Actually, no, I don't have to. It's okay. in a minute. What? Oh, that's annoying. I gotta fill it in first. And... It's a little annoying. <laughs> I 
I love how now there's 50 shooting stars in the background. Okay. Wait, it doesn't let me do it from... It doesn't have to perfectly line up, as long as it has like the illusion that it's flowing into it and the sound is there, it's fine. Because you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to turn around the camera and see that it's not going in there. The only thing now is let me test this this Yeah, I mean, uh, it is it is functional. It's not great, but I don't really have much of a choice. It doesn't let me place. I think it's fine. As long as I can squeeze in. Okay. Tell you, I'm not ending Animal Crossing soon. I'm ending Animal Crossing very soon. I've been playing for three hours, I want to get to Mario, so... I'm just finishing up what I'm doing here. I'm gonna leave the turtle out here for now. What's funny is we were just talking about that girl before the the girl in that commercial. <laughs> she just got too much of that said to her in school. She did not like it. She must be a forty. Nah, she's like in her twenties. That commercial wasn't that long ago. How big is this thing? Let me see. I can always redo this. I thought so. I hate when the game is deceiving. Tells you there's no room when there is. That, that's that's all I want. What? 
There we go. Okay, cool. Why must it do this to me? Oh, my resident homes themed. Not all of them. Almost all of them. Some of them at the moment, they just have flowers everywhere. I think there's three that don't have much going on yet. The rest of them, they got something. Not necessarily complete. Okay, and then when I get the simple panels, this should be okay. Even if this is still, like, here, that's fine. I'll just fill it in with something. garden, which I can already decide on. Actually, I don't need to dig a hole. Oh no, but the simple panel will cover this one, so really it's just here and here. Okay. much do I owe Tom? Nothing. I've been paid off for a while now. And one of you. Ow. Sold turnips. They made like 10 million on turnips. No. Just turn up sales. That looks good. Alright, now. I mean, this is just outdoor seating. I mean, I could probably do better, but well, no. As long as this is not in the way. It doesn't have to be that much outdoor seating. My mailbox, that's a good point where that's gonna live. I mean, even though it's a little weird, I'd put it there. Or can I put it here? If I can put it in front of this window here, it'll be good. Yeah, okay, cool. That works. You could never sell it a good return. Cheating was un unavoidable. <laughs> what do you mean by cheating? Like time skipping? That's better. Okay, I have my 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 line. 
You would sell online or skip time. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't do that. We'll go with these for now until I figure out something better. I don't know if I necessarily will. Oh. Pietro's doing that thing. Just thinking out loud. Okay. Yeah, sure. No. I need this. I hate it when they do that. They're just like, you're carrying an item and they want to buy that item. Well, to be fair, I probably could have sold them the garbage bin, but it's the principle of the matter. If, so if you were walking down the street and someone was like, wow, that's a nice t-shirt. Can I buy it off you? What would you say? And you're wearing said t-shirt. That's pretty much what they're doing. Oh crap, they're brown. Whoops. You would not sell it to them. Good start for now. I'm not gonna go overboard with the seating. I think this isn't enough already, to be honest. I might add more. I don't think I even need to add more. I think it's fine. Maybe the place that plays music on the outside, but otherwise, like, this is okay. The simple panels need to come in, so then, you know, the hedges look like the front ones. But otherwise... Let me do that. Okay, plan B.
Do I have gold flowers? Yeah. The only flowers I'm missing are blue roses and purple wind flowers. I mean, I don't remember who asks what questions, <laughs> to be honest. It's like, I have enough conversations on here that it's just, sometimes they blend in with one another if it's just general questions. But you probably have asked it. Okay, cool. I think we're good. A good start for this. Can't really do much else on it, although... I can put the bin here. I don't know if they have a dumpster, but for now, let's just put this here. I might get a second one, so then there's two. Now you'll never look like you have an early onset pensioner brain. I mean, can you keep track of every conversation you have? Granted, there are people that watch streams and they remember things more than the streamer. Like, every now and then, I'll get someone talking about something I said or did on stream and they'll be like, hey, remember that, that time you did that? I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't remember that. I'm sure it happened, but I don't remember it. It's like... I've done that many streams, honestly. I would not be able to... pick that out. Unless it was something that was super memorable. My uncle and his friends are unforgettable. See, the thing is... I know I've told the story, I just don't know what I was playing when, when I told the story. You know? Like, that one, I have no doubt that I would have talked about. I've been trying to get better at, like, making highlight videos or conversations, so I've started doing some of them. I need to locate the YouTube video, because cried from laughter. I think I remember what game I was playing. I think I was playing Tunic from memory. But then again, I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, that's a good start. I went with... You see, what, you see what I did? How it matches the mailbox? Ah. Although... I should probably get a blue bin, shouldn't I? This one is... Yeah, so we keep the green one. I mean, gotta make it match like how it is here. Green is garbage, blue is recycling. Apply as a contestant on the block. No one's going to get that. <laughs> Most people are going to be like, what's the block? I can only do this sort of stuff in... Uh... Well, okay, if I was to direct someone, if someone was to take me to like a... You know, a place where you pick kitchens and paint and that sort of stuff, I'd be useful. But if I have to do that myself... Like, paint the place and build stuff? Nah, I'm, I'm horrible. I'm not a DIY person. But if you need an opinion on things, when it comes to design, I'm, I'm not bad. But that just comes from me doing graphic design. Mm -mm -mm. 
I've told so many stories <laughs> over the years, I wouldn't be able to pinpoint what streams some of them are scattered across. Every now and then some of them I'll, I'll tell again because enough time has passed, but I think definitely the one about the boy band, that was probably the first time I had told that one. The other ones, like what, there's the wedding one, there's... The one where he ran an escort business is the one where I... The boy band. That was like... I swear I told that one during that stream, but it was... Oh, you just... I bet you're just baiting me to tell the story again. I'm not... You know what? No. <laughs> no? Okay. Well... So, he picked me up from school one day, and his friend was with him. So we head to the local shopping mall. I'm going to call it a mall, just for the understanding of Americans. All right? And so we're just going around, just looking at stuff. They go to a clothing store, and, you know, my uncle's looking at clothing, and so is he. He takes a bunch of clothing to the counter. And, um, he just starts talking to the cashier and starts saying that, you know, oh, that we're in this, this boy band. And that, um, you know, that they're doing a gig <laughs> at some, this local place. And that he wanted a discount, and you know, he would shout out the clothing store. Going just full influencer on him. And you know, when the guy, the guy wanted proof of like the music, he starts playing just random Spanish music on the phone, and he's like, yeah, see, this, this is me. And then his vocal is coming up, and it 100% was not me. Let's just pick some random Spanish song off his phone. He got his discount. I think that's it. Anyway, that that's that's the boy band story. <laughs> it's just that. Okay, I think we're good. There's not a whole lot else I can do with this today, because I don't have simple panels, but hey, look at this. My home, well, my home slash venue is looking like a venue, and it connects with this now, so it's like... Now if you want to get food, you got a choice. I might for consistency... I'll think about it. I have I have more ideas, but I'm not going to do that now. We'll leave it here for now for Animal Crossing. This is good. Now this looks like a home and not a mess of flowers. You know, I put that there just so then the sound effect of water will happen. And it doesn't matter. It's like, it doesn't look like it has continuity. It's fine. It's like, it does the job, I think, pretty well. Keep working on this next time. Alright. We are done with Animal Crossing for now. But I'll continue it probably tomorrow. I'm not done with the stream, but I am done with Animal Crossing.
Uh, but yeah, if you're watching this as a replay later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end and hope you enjoy it as always. If you do want to support the channel over there, the easiest way to do so is just click the like button or click one of the videos that pop up if you want to watch me play other things. Either way, it does help out a lot. So thank you very much for watching the video or checking out some of the other content. Yeah, we'll see you next time, YouTube. Take care. Bye.